Our lab is really interested in the serotonin system as a system that could be targeted for treating very various neuropsychiatric disorders. We discovered a class of compounds that had high affinity at a serotonin receptor called serotonin 7. And we found this compelling paper that was in biological psychiatry that showed that activating the serotonin 7 receptor corrected LTD deficits in the Fragile X mouse model. This was really exciting to us and this really opened the door to the field of Fragile X. So the serotonin system is, is a very vast system. It includes the serotonin transporter, which is a, a protein that takes serotonin up after it's released from a neuron. Uh, this transporter is the target of SSRIs. In addition to that transporter, there are at least, well, there's 15 genetically encoded serotonin receptors. And these are proteins that exist on cells in the brain and that serotonin binds to and activates. And each one has a unique effect on the cell. Uh, it could increase the excitability of the cell, decrease the excitability of the cell. For example, the serotonin 1A receptor, which we are particularly interested in targeting currently for Fragile X syndrome, is expressed in high densities in parts of the brain that are critically involved in cognition, memory, and uh, social behaviors. So the serotonin 1A receptor is highly expressed in the cortex, and this is the outer part of our brains, and the serotonin 1A receptor is also highly expressed in the hippocampus. The serotonin 1A receptor is also highly expressed in the septal area of the brain. We know from Fragile X syndrome that there's a hypersensitivity phenotype, um, hyperarousal phenotype, and we know that a lot of um, neurons in Fragile X mouse are in a hyper excitable state. Uh, we know that the Fragile X mice are very sensitive to auditory stimuli and when you play a loud sound to these mice, they will have an audiogenic seizure. So we're using this model, this audiogenic seizure model, as a behavioral readout of this hyper excitability that's in the brains of Fragile X mice and that's also observed in individuals with Fragile X syndrome. And so what we have uh, seen in our uh, results is that 1A receptors, they were upregulated or present at higher levels in the male mice with Fragile X compared to uh, the wild type mice. But in the female mice, we did not see this trend. Instead, we saw that uh, there was a modest decrease in the serotonin 1A receptors uh, in the female mice. Now, there are medications currently approved by the FDA that have this kind of pharmacology. Most of these medications are the newer antipsychotic medications. However, uh, the, these antipsychotic medications in addition to stimulating the serotonin 1A receptor, uh, block the dopamine D2 receptor, also block the serotonin 2A receptor. So these aren't selective serotonin 1A agonists. There is a selective serotonin 1A receptor agonist that is in phase two clinical trials right now. So it has sh shown uh, safety in humans so we already have this basis that activating serotonin 1A receptors is going to be safe to be used by patients. What gives me hope about the research that we are conducting is that, number one, we know that targeting serotonin receptors is safe. We, along with other labs and other groups that are researching on fragile X syndrome, we have a common goal to advance drug discovery as well as drug repurposing so that there is at least one medication candidate that has been approved and it's there out there in the market 
and that can to some extent uh, alleviate the symptoms that individuals with fragile x syndrome go through every single day i cannot say enough about how much i respect this research organization and what they've done to support research into finding a cure for fragile x syndrome fraxa is always there they're always present um they're they unite people they unite scientists all focused on a on the goal of treating and and eventually curing fragile x syndrome